When you finally decide to dust off the old Terraria Calamity mod and give it another go, you generally have an idea of what class you want to play. And within that class exists a numerous amount of dangerous weapons, all of which should be kept away from mankind for their own good. But what about the weapons that don't look like a 46 in 1 Swiss army knife? What about those? You want the honest answer? They sit at the bottom of the toy box to collect dust until they eventually acquire an entire ecosystem of microorganisms throughout thousands of years and develop sentience through evolution. But let's get to the point already, let me tell you the reason why I'm here. I got really fucking bored one day and cranked a master death mode playthrough with bows only. So I'm gonna show you the highlights of that, what bows are really good, what bows fucking suck mm. dick, and when and why you should use them. Now before we go into the weapons that I use and why I decided to use them, I'm gonna show you all the early game bow DPS versus a mini shark. Just in case you think my opinion sucks dick and decide that for some reason you want to formulate your own. Okay, I'm gonna tell you how it is, no sugar coding no bullshit bows are getting absolutely fucking thanos fisted by the mini shark but that is to be expected because it's a mini shark what the fuck do you expect what you want the first bow in the game do you use you think it's gonna be better than the mini shark man shut your i'll beat your motherfucking ass the first bow I picked was his demon bow because of how fucking easy this thing is to get. No bullshit, you can spawn in, get the bombs, run to a demon eye or vein, and just blow that shit to smithereens. Now the good thing about this bow is that when you compare it to another bow and not the mini shark, it's actually the second best. And the only one that's better, you have to fish in a blood moon to get that. So it might as well not exist because I'm not doing that shit. You couldn't fucking pay me to do that shit. The demon bow was good enough to get me through the first two bosses. So it gets a thumbs up from me. I, I give that bitch like a three and a half out of five. Like it could get the four if it was a little bit better, but I'm, I'm gonna have to give it a strong, a strong three and a half. Now after the desert scourge and the eye of Cthulhu, the game finally decided to give me a fucking acid rain. So I flew my happy little ass over there and farmed up the little materials for the Toxa bow, and that was the next one I used. But there's one, one thing that makes this fucking bow absolute dog shit. And if you've used bows before, you know exactly what the fuck I'm about to say. Guess what? Guess what? Wait, wait for it. It doesn't fucking pierce, and you have to use wooden arrows. Hey, guess what the next boss is? The brain or the eater of worlds. Guess what you have to use on both those bosses? What kind of arrows? I'm waiting. Okay, I'm done fucking waiting. It's just your arrows. You need just your arrows to kill the next boss. When I figured that out, I was actually very, very happy and I wasn't this fucking close to smashing at all. So you know what? Maybe the Demonite and Crimson bows aren't actually that bad. Maybe they're not complete dog shit. I got enough use out of them to knock out a whole extra boss, so fuck it. Hey, four out of five. Uh, we made it. We fucking made it. After killing the Eater of Worlds, I immediately rushed the Slime God using Molten Fury. There are two other bows that you can use at this point of the game, but unfortunately they both stink like crap, so I'm not gonna mention them. They're fucking dog shit. On top of that, the only reason I used Molten Fury to kill this boss was to unlock the Lunarian bow, which looked pretty cool on paper, so I said, fuck it, I'll just use this and kill Skeletron. After an endless amount of agony, I finally killed Skeletron and took a dive down into the dungeon to find the Shadow Keep. With this, I sucked every inhabitant of the underworld dry of their belongings until I finally stumbled upon a Hellwing bow. Because for some reason, you just need piercing for everything. Fortunately, for a bow only run, that is never an issue. You have jester arrows or just natural piercing on every bow. So that made the Wall of Flesh a pretty easy fight. All right, now for the overall summary of early game bows. I'm just gonna come out and say it was pretty average. Uh, it wasn't bad, it just average. Except on bosses that required piercing to be done well, I feel like that's where the bows really excelled. Overall, I, I would give it like a six and a half out of 10. It would really be like a five and a half or a six if it sucked balls at piercing too. Then it would just get the worst of both worlds and have nothing going for it and be completely fucking useless. Anyways, let's move on to hard mode. The first bow that you can get in hard mode is the Daedalus Storm Bow. And I'm gonna keep it real with you, honest guy that I am, this shit is not gonna cut it. I'm just gonna wrap it up. The, the video's over. Bows suck. And I just wanna publicly apologize to everyone for wasting your time watching this up to the- Wait, wait, hold on. I'm getting a phone call. Hello? I shouldn't end the video here? Bows are about to turn into Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy in their peak days? 
Wait, I literally recorded it last week on video? And now I'm making myself look like a complete fucking dipshit because I'm repeating everything you say into the microphone? Wait, I didn't mute? Oh shit. Well, at least I don't have to explain anything anymore. This playthrough felt like when you plant a tree in your backyard and then you have to wait for it to grow, but then right after you kill the aquatic scourge and the tree is still growing in your backyard, you craft the corroded Kosovo and then use it to fist hard mode, and the tree still hasn't finished growing because it actually has nothing to do with this video at all. But like, that's what it felt like because at this point, you're scaled up. Like, bows are beasts now. It feels like you're being rewarded for making it through the dog shit early game, and now, now, you finally get to pick your nose and play with one hand. Once you kill Plantera, she drops a bow called Blossom Flux, and it just turns you into the main character. It's like one of those weapons that makes you go like, wow. Surely the devs were under the influence of methamphetamines while releasing this weapon, because there's just no reason for me to be killing Moonlord with it. And just when the bows start getting good, the goodness comes to a complete fucking halt. You get hit in the face with reality in the form of a giant anvil, like in Tom and Jerry. You're once again forced to work from the ground up using either Astral Defeat or Planetary Annihilation, both of which feel like they're literally shooting blanks when you hold your left mouse button. But if you somehow manage to hold victory over the next few bosses using ammunition that makes them feel like they're receiving a head massage, you're rewarded with the Monsoon. Now I'm gonna point out that you can get this weapon as soon as you kill Poltergast, which you can do right after Moonlord, but the only reason I didn't do that was because I wanted to test out all the bows so I can highlight the ones that are actually good. And here's a hint, Monsoon is really fucking good. This thing takes the Devourer of Gods and flings it headfirst into a wood chipper, which is great because it's the only boss I killed with it. After Devourer, you'll have to part ways with Monsoon and say hello to your new best friend, Monsoon. Except this time, Barack Obama took it through a pack-a-punch machine, so now it's called Alluvion, and for some reason, it shoots fucking nukes. Unfortunately, while Alluvion may be a pack-a-punch version of Monsoon with JFK's signature on it, it wasn't actually incredibly powerful for the stage of the game that you use it at. That being said, I still rolled up Yaron's off-brand KFC ass in a blunt and chief that hoe, which is all I could really ask for when I'm doing these weapon-specific challenges. After Yaron, you get this bow called Dretaliornis or some shit like that. I don't really know how to fucking say it, but holy shit, this thing is a fucking beam, like this thing is a strap. When you hold down left mouse with it, it ramps up attack speed like a minigun. And honestly, I can say this is the only bow in the entire playthrough where I felt like it's just actually better than any other ranged weapon that you can use. Like I'm fighting Supreme Calamitous with it and I just have this shit on her fucking head blowing it off. There's just a million pieces of her brain everywhere. Her own mother wouldn't even recognize her corpse when I'm done with it. Overall, this playthrough turned out pretty good. And honestly, I would even go so far as to say that bows are good. Not even average, not even like a little bit above average. Like they're, they're fucking good. The ones that stood out the most to me in this playthrough were Blossom Flux, Monsoon, and Dratalionis. I think for the stage that I use these weapons at, they just felt like nuclear missiles, not even bows. Like I'm just dual wielding fucking rocket launchers that shoot Moab kill streaks from COD. Anyways, if you liked the video, I got more Terraria shit on my channel. If you want to see long form content, I got that shit on there too. If you want to see the playthroughs live, you can check me out at Twitch. Other than that, I'll see y'all motherfuckers next time. Bye.